Drinking Buddies. It's the triumphant return of Marco. It's been too long, but we're glad to have him back. And we have a very special shelf versus allocated versus unicorn. Let's yeah. go. I'm really nervous about this because I don't think I'm as good as him when it comes out to picking these things out. So. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So yeah, I know what these are. He doesn't. So it's a blind for me I because I mixed them up. But it's a double blind for him because he has no idea what the shelf is. He doesn't know what the allocated is and he doesn't know what the unicorn is. So I say we dive in. All right, start going. Well, uh, yeah, let's go here. Right sure. Yeah. Sure, why not? We have the same thing though, right? Yes. Sure so the, there's a trick to it. I pour into the bottles, that the glasses that I have labeled, I mix them up, and then I take half of that sample and pour it into the other cups. All right. <sighs> this one smells minty. I was going to say a little herbal. <sighs> strawberry? You get like strawberry on there? I do get a, some, some sort of berry. That you said that is strawberry, but I also get peach. Totally see peach. Lemon too. Not exactly what I was going to expect off of this one. Now I'm curious, is this a rye? <laughs> Do you know all that? I will tell you that it is not a rye. So these are None all bourbons? These are all bourbons, yeah. Well, okay. It's a little musty too, like a little... Uh, yeah. Got a little bit of say, funk on it, like a little... A rye, huh? Really a bourbon? Mm-hmm. Two years old? Four years old? <laughs> smells a little young. I was getting the opposite. I was getting a little bit of a, an age quality on it. Mm, it smells nice and bright. But who knows, man? Mm. Very vanilla. Vanilla, caramel, there's cherry. Cherry for sure. There's a uh, orange. Yeah, a little bit of an orange zest thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Manhattan, or uh, old fashioned in a glass. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there is that little bit of like brown sugar. Very sweet. Yeah. Like, I'm like Woodford double oak sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna say like Maker's BRT01 sweet, but it's not that. I know it's not that because no. this has a little bit more body than the BRT01, a little bit more viscous. I actually think maybe this is maybe six years old. I'm gonna have to say that the proof is between 100 to 110, maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. The the viewers will be seeing maybe. that right here. So. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead. Mm. Oh, you do have a water right there too. Yeah, it's just, it's good. I mm -hmm. like it. But I don't know. Shelf, allocated, and unicorn. unicorn. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're trying to figure out which one's the best. And hopefully it's the shelf so that the people out there can, you know, readily buy it. Unicorn's a unicorn for a reason, man. <laughs> oh, one of these I don't think I've had before too. No? Yeah, okay. one of these I don't think I've now this one smells a little bit older. This one has more of your leather old shoe smell to it. Yeah, a little bit of a tobacco-y thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cigar box type thing. Almost get like a, a clove note. Okay. It's definitely really oaky. This one's really oaky compared to the first one. Mm. Oh. This one's different. Okay, I haven't had anything like this one before, so I don't even know what this is. Um, this one tastes a lot more like what I would expect out of this series here than the first one. The first one was kind of like, whoa, what am I drinking? Yeah. Um, but this one is is right along the lines that you'd expect from this flavor profile. Okay. I think. Damn. So for me, that's heavy bourbon vanilla caramel oak and cherry i'm not getting cherry yet but i do get vanilla i do get caramel but there's some herbs in here and it's not really a cherry it's more like a cherry coke i could i, I would yeah cherry yeah. cola oh, is there mystique in this no yeah. <laughs> kind of the same i'm willing to do hints i'm willing to do hints no i but... appreciate it I, i'm not sure be asking so I'm almost getting like, so Garrison Brothers is really good of having that cherry Coca-Cola syrup flavor. Yeah, but, but you can smell Garrison Brothers on the nose from about two yeah. miles away. 
This has a really nice nose. This is the best nose so far. And this one smells older, and this one smells yep. more oak. Oh, yeah, there's oak, but it's almost like library, old library. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Books what I often library. call, um, what I often call, damn basement. Yo. But that just sounds nasty. <laughs> yeah, library, but old library books doesn't sound that much better. I mean, I love the way books smell. I don't read them, but they smell yeah. good. <laughs> I have too much ADD to read too much. Uh, audiobooks, though, I can devour audiobooks like crazy. Uh, I have a hard time focusing on those sometimes. Too. <sighs> Dude, this sounds really good. This smells like vanilla um, on the nose. There's a little bit of cherry. Mm -hmm. Trying to pick out that stone fruit though. There's a little bit of a fruit in there. I dove right in because I was um, <laughs> mm. I was wanting to. Uh, you were salivating. Yeah, I was really enjoying yeah, that nose. Yeah, I'm just trying to pick out things as much as I can. Help myself out. Yeah, that's uh, this one's a little peachy. You said stone fruit, so I don't know if you put the idea in my head, but this is a little peachy. That is peachy. You started it off with strawberry, mm -hmm. and I, I got it, but and then it went over to peach. Um, that one. Nine times out of ten, if I get, no, not nine times, like seven times out of ten, if I get fruit on a bourbon, it's mm -hmm. cherry. And then probably two out of the ten would be apple next. Yeah. So getting things like apricot, cherry, and, uh, or, sorry, apricot, oranges, I don't get those as often. I get those on the nose okay. more often than I get them on the palate, personally. You ever get orange on Buffalo Trace products? Blanton's. Blanton's. Just, yeah, Blanton's is one that I, Trace? I don't really think I can that yeah. one has a big old orange punch, man. That's good. Eagle Rare, too. Definitely for sure on Nashville 1. Yeah, Eagle Rare is one that, to me, that since they're almost single barrels, almost every Eagle Rare I've ever had smells slightly, or tastes slightly different. These are all really good. I hate you right now because I don't even know the hell I'm drinking. Hmm. Did you go back to one? Mm hmm okay. Back at one. Um, that so the second time through, I got way more cherry coke on this one than I did on two. So this one's like cherry coke for days. Okay. Mm. So peach and cherry coke. I don't know what's going on here. Well, we're gonna go through these probably at least one more time. I'll probably yeah. fast forward through this part or cut it out completely so you don't have to hear the same tasting notes twice. We'll be right back. So I think we kind of have a consensus here. Uh, we like this one the best, so the number three yeah. is our favorite. And I think when I mix these up, I mix them up and put them back in the same order because I think this is shelf allocated in Unicorn, personally, because um, this one is the weakest. These two kind of stand out a little bit above this one, but they are, they're all three really good. Yeah. So if and this is something, if this is the shelf, that doesn't mean it's bad. And no. the fact it's this close is yeah. pretty awesome. I guess this is about 110 proof at the very most, but none of these are drinking any like hot at all for me, at all. Like they taste uh, up to 100. These taste like about 115, but I wouldn't doubt it if they're like way higher than that. Yeah, the lowest one is 125. Yeah. So normally for me, if it's done right, if it's a good high proof bourbon, mm -hmm. it's gonna taste like 100 proof. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing is, um, I personally think that when you're dealing with guessing proof. If it's over about 110, it's, you're splitting hairs at that point. It, it pretty much, it pretty much, it's very difficult to decide how hot a proof is if it's over 110 for me. So, so this is a shelfer. I think. Okay. If this is a shelfer, this gives me Buffalo Trace vibes, though. They are the all the same distillery. Oh, they so. are. They are. Are you going Buffalo Trace? No, because nothing that's Buffalo Trace doesn't have a shelfer. <laughs> they do. No, they, they don't. do. They have a hundred and twenty-five proof shelfer. Oh, benchmark. But that's not really even a shelfer. That's allocated. Yeah, I mean, it's one that you can get most of the time, but it is considered allocated in some areas. So they tell me it's allocated all day, every day. I mean, they do say the same about Buffalo Trace and Saz Rye too. But yep. I would consider benchmark full proof to be a shelf bottle. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. All right, I think we should just do the reveal. What do you think? You want to do the reveal? Well, what, what's your guess? Yeah, uh, let's let's do a guess. I was thinking freaking Buffalo Trace or Russell's. Those are the two that I was thinking. But the, the thing that's getting me about this one. Okay, so 
I, given by my clues, Russell's has been ruled out because if the lowest up here is 125 proof, Russell's doesn't have anything that high. I was thinking, well, I mean, it's not going to be well, Russell's 13 is not. I was, that's what my mind was. Yeah. And, and those, okay. those do have some really similar flavors so from what we're going on here. These two are stag juniors. Yep. They are? Yep. So this is Buffalo Trace. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so the three bottles we have up here are. So these are, are store picks then. One of them is a store pick. That's the unicorn. One of them is 22B. Mm. Yeah. Because I, I got. I think this is my guesses. Um, <clears throat> foolproof. Yeah. 22B store pick. This tasted like Buffalo Trace, like 100% Buffalo Trace, like 90 proof Buffalo Trace. Yeah, I did add but some trickery to the, uh, the the full proof, the benchmark full proof. It was aged with a barrel spiral. Ah. And, and people that I have poured this for say that, hmm. I have had people that I've poured this for say they like it better than Stag Jr. Not saying that that is how I would categorize it, but I have had people say that, no joke. I would say it's much more improved. Oh yeah, because um, uh, the benchmark foolproof, the nose on it hits you with this super youthy, super grainy note. Yep. And, and even when I first did this experiment, mm -hmm. it was still there, sitting so, in the bottle for a while with that that spiral. Yeah, it really just it it did it, it did so, magic. Good job, dude. Yeah, I think it, it's benchmark. It's I think that, let's go ahead and reveal because I think this is the okay. benchmark. We got to at least reveal this. One. All right, I don't have. It so yeah, this is the benchmark. The Spiral's still in there. No wonder it's starting to really taste good. I'm going to take this out. Why? I had no idea that it was still in there. Why? I didn't, but it tastes so good now. Yeah. So that's been in there for months. Yeah. Months on months. So I thought I took it out a while ago. Well, it looks a little darker. Yeah. No wonder it's so, yeah. it's so viscous. It's so, yeah. Um, and then this should be the 22B. Oh. That's the store pick, isn't it? The B is the store pick. The fry is 130.2 proof, which when I did a blind with batch 17 and an Albertson's pick, mm -hmm. and this, our favorite was this one. So that's interesting because that might mean that the uh, so 22B the might be slightly better, and that's 130 proof. This is the one that really did give me the Stag Junior vibes. This one, more. I, I really dig this one. Like, um, I, I love 17. That's my favorite batch that I personally owned. And I think this is just a step up. Yeah. Like almost, it, it's kind of crazy because I feel like every Stag Junior batch that I've had, all well, artists formerly known as Stag Junior now, but um, every one I've had, I feel like they get a little bit better they each do. time. So they it's kind of crazy. This 22B, I think, is, I think it's the best one I've ever had. So this is just regular Stag batch 22B. 22B. 133 proof, right? 130. 130? Yeah. Jim. He always delivers with good samples. <laughs> Mr. Matthews. Yeah. So thanks, Jim. Yeah. Um, 130.2. The proof is really similar on these two. So 125, 130.2, and 130. Anyway, drinking buddies, this has been great. Um, thank you very much to my channel members. I couldn't do this without you. Uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. Am I forgetting any of the youtube -y things? Um, share it with your enemies if you hated it. <laughs> um, I personally want to say thank you for those of you that have come by to say hi and uh, you know, shown some support. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, uh, Marco at Nana's Kitchen. Um, man, I tell you, if you're in Arizona and you haven't been to Nana's Kitchen, you're missing out because I literally think it's some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. Um, and I live in Tucson. I've tried all over. Like I've tried a lot. Like this isn't this isn't coming from someone who's tried five places. This is coming from somebody who's tried like seventy places. <laughs> We're the only ones with the bar like ours. And yeah, we get them drunk enough to say that. Well, I, hey, you know, <laughs> most of the time when I go there, I'm going for lunch, and there's no bourbon involved, and uh, uh, the chili relleno alone is enough to keep me coming back. Yeah, it's fine. And those Chipotle chicken enchiladas. That's and it's some. Those are some something truly unique too. That's not something you can go to this shop down the street and order. You can't yeah. scratch that itch. It's funny. I always try to get you to sample things when you're there if I have something new. Yeah, that's true. And he's like, Nah. Yeah, I'm. All, I gotta go home. <laughs> yeah. so. And I'm pending trip right now. Don't think I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is just. He wants to be in these. Uh, uh, these. Whenever I have a, a, a drinking buddy on. 
the, the trip wants to be in it. He wants to be involved. However, you know, if I'm doing this by myself, he doesn't care. He's off laying under a blanket somewhere. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. I'm your drinking buddy.